Okay, optimization problem. If a 1,200 centimeter cube, if 1,200 centimeters cube of material is available, I mean centimeters squared, is available to make a box with a square base and an open top, find the largest possible volume of the box. Okay, so we have a box. The square base. First box drawing ever. Okay, so there's a box of the square base. And we have 1,200 centimeters cube of material, right? So, like, get some sort of material, get the area of this material, which is 1,200 centimeters squared. It's kind of like asked, saying, like, you have this much wrapping paper, right? And, yeah. and it's saying here, How, how, what's the largest possible volume of a box you can construct that can be completely wrapped with your wrapping paper? Okay. Because there's different boxes you can make, but they're not all going to maximize the volume. Yeah. They can, they can all be wrapped by the wrapping paper, and they can all use up all the wrapping paper, but they'll actually yield different volumes depending yeah. on the shape. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, okay. Well, it says we have a square base, so then we know that this is going to be x, and we know this is going to be x. Mm -hmm. All right. So, make a box and an open top. All right. So, I mean, for now, I'm just going to call this h as the height, and we know that volume is length times width times height. So mm -hmm. we know that volume is x times x, x times height. X times x times height. And we know that volume is, is x squared times height, right? E. All right. So now let's talk about surface area. So we know that surface area and the reason why I just did surface area is just because I knew I could do it. I could do it. Not exactly mm -hmm. sure. I'm not 100% sure that's what we do, but I'm pretty sure because we're given like area and, mm -hmm. and length and stuff. Okay. So surface area of this box. How do you, how do you figure that out? Um, base area. Okay. You said base area. Honestly, I don't remember the exact formula, like the well, how it's like could, base area times could, something other area. Kind of but it. I know for this, it would just be six times length times width, like six times no, the quantity no, no, of x squared. You're six x squared. No, because you're assuming that we have a perfectly cute box. That's true. Right? We could have a really really skinny box. Right? We could have a, it's a it's a square base. As mm -hmm. long as the base is a square, it could be like this. That's still a square base, right? Yeah. Or it could be like more like what I drew right here. It's also a square base. So, but I don't know the formula either. I mean, I kind of do, but we can always just muscle your formula. Mm -hmm. So we know that we got to do the bottom area, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so that's x squared. And we know we got to do this side right here, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so that's hx. And we know that we got to do the other side and the other side over here. So it's mm -hmm. also hx. So there's two hx, right? Are you with me? A side area. Yeah, so like we got, we got the base of the tissue box, whatever box, right? Then we got mm -hmm. the front panel. Then we got the back panel. Now we want to do these side panels right here. So, well, this is still this is still H. So this is still the H X, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So plus another two X H. And just make sure you got five out of your six sides, which we do. 
correct? Mm -hmm. You with me? Yeah. All right. So we know that surface area equals x squared plus 4xh. Mm -hmm. We also know what the surface area is. It's 1,200. Mm -hmm. Okay. So 1,200 equals x squared plus 4xh. And here's the big, the big thing with every single optimization problem. So for optimization problems, for optimization problems, you want to use two equations. Okay. So you can substitute to out an annoying variable like H. Like H. So that way you can get so let's get let's get H in terms of X. And if I remember correctly, unlike, unlike related rates, we're not doing implicit differentiation. Yeah. Right? So you don't want two letters. You want it all in terms of the same letter. Yeah. Okay. So let's get it. So we have this. So if we wanted to, we could say, we could rewrite it as, we can go minus x squared minus x squared okay mm -hmm. so uh, gone okay, so you have 1200 minus x squared equals Four x h. Four x h equals twelve hundred minus x squared over four x gone over four x h equals twelve hundred minus x squared over four x. Got that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Then. We're going to go right here. I'm so glad we did um, new method videos. Okay. What? I'm glad we did new method videos. Yeah. Because the stuff had already been all figured out already. Okay. So. Yeah, exactly. Okay. V. equals, great, x squared times 1,200 minus x squared over 4x plus. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. So optimization, another little note. Optimization. means you are finding a max for men on a graph. Mm -hmm. So we get some sort of graph. It looks kind of quadratic -y, but it's going to be to the fourth power, or maybe not, probably so. And then maybe to the third power, whatever. But it's going to be like, let's just say you have whatever graph you have. Right here is going to be your max. Yeah. Right? Over here would be your min. Either way, those occur when f prime is equal to zero. 
Uh huh. Right? Uh huh. So this is the volume equation. This is the equation for volume. If I want to know the volume based on these constraints, I can find out any given volume. Uh -huh. right? So I can make x two inches. Uh -huh. x or two centimeters. And if I plug in two centimeters for x, I'll find a volume. Yeah. I can make it um, x point one centimeters and I'll still find a volume that that still uses up all of that wrapping paper. Yeah. Okay. So what we're gonna do instead though is we're gonna rewrite this here. We're gonna get our volume equation. And what we're going to do is we're going to optimize it by taking the derivative and setting it equal to zero. So we're going to say v prime equals, um, or yeah, equals. And I guess before we do all that business, let's go ahead and distribute it. Mm -hmm. Ah, wait, before we do all that business, let's go ahead and wipe out some X's. So we, uh, so we can go like, gone, and this will be like, let's do like that, which I hate doing. X, and we have 1200 minus X squared over four, which is not the quotient rule. So then V prime, you can kick out the one fourth. And then you have d over dx. You could do the quotient rule, but that's just more work. Minus x yeah. squared. Okay. That's where we are. We have the product rule. Okay. So we have v prime equals one fourth bracket. Kick out the x. D over dx. Actually, don't even back up. Back up. We're not going to product rule it. Let's distribute. Oh, bam, snap. Bam. All right, so we're going to do 1,200x minus avoid product rule and quotient rule. You can distribute at all costs. So, let's see. All right, cool. Yeah, so now we, wait, I forgot my, lost my derivative. So now we're just taking the derivative of that, uh -huh. which involves no rule. So v prime is one fourth times um, what is it? Twelve hundred. Just twelve hundred, right? Yeah, minus three x squared. Uh -huh. Right. Uh huh. Great. Now we set it equal to zero. So now you say, all right. Let's go step first. What's that? What is 1,200 divided by 4? Oh, no, forget it. Oh, wait, you're right. I should totally do that. No, don't do that. Don't do that. So it's then, not time yet. Yeah. yeah no, well, you don't need to because you you can kill it. So you get 1,200 mm. minus 3x squared equals 0. All right, so what you can do, because you can, is multiply both sides by 4 over 1. Mm -hmm. You kill your four over one. You kill your one fourth. So you're gonna get twelve hundred minus three x squared equals zero. And I'm gonna sure write that as negative three x squared plus twelve hundred equals zero. I'm gonna hit everything by negative one. No, it actually it solves itself though. What do you mean? If you subtract 1,200, you get negative, and then it's still negative 3x. Well, you got to divide it. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, yeah. I mean, you could do that, too. No, no, no. <laughs> you'll do it your way. If that's how you guys do it in L.A., we'll do it that way. Hmm. Okay, so minus 1,200, minus 1,200. And O.C., we do it the other way. I get 3x squared. Y equals negative 1,200. Okay. Divide by negative 3. Divide by negative 3 x squared equals 400. x equals plus or minus 20. Can't have negative length though. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so x is 20, which is positive length. Oh, 
I don't even know if he answered the question. What are they asking for? Probably not. Okay. Find the largest possible volume of the box. No problem. So, large, well actually, here's the thing. Technically, I mean, if it was me taking this test, mm -hmm. one second. You would what? Uh, technically, how did you do on this test? Um, I think I did well. You're technically supposed to put a domain in there. You're supposed to say something like, from the beginning. Like, like, like something to the effect of I don't know, like, um. Let's just, let's just, let's just not do that. Okay. Okay. I'm okay with that. I'll, I think on the, on the test, I'll, I think I could wing that one. Okay, so, but you do want to know if this is like your maximum, and a quick way to just tell, just to make sure you didn't mess up, is go Desmos. And yeah. you punch in your graph on Desmos. And it more than likely is. I remember doing these problems and they were. But just in case you didn't like find it, because you, you could have found the minimum. You could, yeah. have found, you could have found the lowest possible volume, actually. Right. Right? So you go and you get your volume equation, which is this bad boy right here. Or even this one, this guy. And you go y equals. 1200 x to the power of 2 x minus 2 divided by 4 is that it? 12 no 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 that's not it and there's an x right here x right there and did I do that right? 1200 minus x squared over 4 okay then I have some sort of messed up domain here. Ooh. There we go. Yeah. Wait, wait. What kind of crazy graph is this? So we have. That's really sketchy. Wasn't our answer 20? Ha ha. So. Oh, 400. So here. Was our answer 20? Yeah. That's a nice number. Okay, so here, even though it's a sketchy graph, if you see this is a maximum, that other one is not a maximum. It doesn't come back yeah. down. It's yeah. A, it's a, it goes forever, actually. Right? So it's, it's right here, which is because it's a cubic function. Yeah. Because yeah. you can see right here it's cubic. And so... It, yeah, so you can tell it's maximum. So we're, we're safe. All right, so we go over here. And all you do is you plug that in now. We actually got on the graph, by the way. It's 4,000, right? So oh, we go over uh, here. Yeah. We go here, and you plug that into your one of your volume equations. And the easiest one to do is this one right here. Yeah. So, so V of 20 equals 
that. We're going to plug in 20. So 20 here. 20 here. Okay. So we have 1,200. 1,200 minus 400 over 4 times 20. So that will equal 4,000. Go back to your problem. It's in centimeters, so we're going to say centimeters cubed. Hold on, I'll be right back.